My name is Art Bergeron. Uh, welcome to this show, which is still unnamed, uh, but which will be a series of shows uh, dealing with various aspects of Alzheimer's and other form Alzheimer's and other things that cause dementia, dealing with ways that you can keep these Alzheimer's and other form forms of dementia from happening, uh, and how you can deal with it if it is happening. Uh, this series really results from work that I've done uh, at, the, at the Ashland Senior Center. Some of you folks may have seen me at the Council on Aging. Uh, I am an elder law attorney. I work at Myra O'Connell. Um, when I was thinking about these issues, because I've been doing this for a long time now, I realized that while most people talk to me about wanting to do planning in general and they're worried about planning during their lifetimes, what they really mean is that they w they're worried about Alzheimer's. And so I wanted to talk specifically about that. And I wanted to introduce you individually to the people that you should know uh, if you are concerned about these issues, uh, if you're concerned about prevention, if you're concerned about what to do or what programs are available to help you out. Um, so the first person that, that I asked to come on the show is Monica Alley, uh, with whom I've done a number of uh, elder law presentations. And, and I know she's been to the Council on Aging in Ashland. Uh, and and um, Monica is from Bay Path Elder Services. Monica, thank you very much for being here for the very first part of the very first show. So please excuse me if I'm nervous because I don't know what I'm doing. Right? But I want you to talk about, if you could, just a little bit, uh, what Bay Path is. Uh, many people hear all these various different kinds of elder services and entities, and they don't know what Bay Path is and what you do and how it could relate to these issues. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Um, so Bay Path is what's referred to as an ASAP, an Aging mm -hmm. Services Access Point, mm -hmm. one of 27 in the state that um, is really the first place to call if you have any questions about elder services, um, housing, um, resources available to caregivers, elders. We provide services in the home. Now, are um, these specifically, you want them to call you if, you, if they are elders, if they are so regarding this variety of services, and how and what do you define as an elder? Um, actually, I feel pretty old right now. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't old. define it as an elder, <laughs> yeah. but the state defines elder as 60 years old and above. 60 or above. So right. if you're trying to figure out what programs are available and you're 60 and above, you, you want to call BayPath. Right. And now you said there are a number of agencies like you. Do you cover a particular geographical area? We cover 14 communities in Metro yeah. West, yeah. from Natick to the east um, and north to Wayland um, and south to Dover and Sherbourne, see, Holliston. And, sp and specifically including Ashland. So really Correct. Ashland and a lot of the communities yes. around Ashland. Yeah. Now can, can you talk just a little bit about the kinds of programs that are available to folks who... who may be concerned about these issues, about Alzheimer's and related issues. Yes, we, um, we actually, aside from doing, providing in-home services, mm -hmm. um, we also now have healthy aging programs. And those are programs that are really designed to keep people um, active, to keep them engaged, mm -hmm. um, not only in a preventive way for their own health care, but also um, to be involved in the community as well. I see. So, so we do chronic disease self-management, um, healthy eating for successful aging, um, matter of balance. And, and, and maybe we can talk about those really in the context of why I asked you to be here and really be the first guest. I know the folks that I d deal with, I deal with a lot of folks who they, they know that they're, 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 there are diseases that they don't want to have because their goal, everybody's goal 
is, we all know we're going to die, but everybody's goal is to live until you die, to live and to be fresh and to be sharp. And I think people understand that, there, that if you're worried about diabetes, if you're worried about heart attack, if you're worried about lung cancer, there are, there are lifestyle things and diet things that you can do to deal with that. I've never heard people say that about Alzheimer's. I think they think about Alzheimer's as being Russian roulette. Right. Maybe your parents had it, maybe it just you get struck down by God and now you're stuck with, with Alzheimer's. Can you talk about whether, based on the science, there are any things you can do to deal with um, reducing your risk of, Alzheimer's, of yes. getting Alzheimer's? Um, this is a field, actually, Arthur, that's um, still a lot in its early stages, mm -hmm. um, although we really see that um, from what we're seeing is that it's the same kinds of things that you do to reduce other health risks you do to try to reduce your risk of, oh. of Alzheimer's. But all those healthy lifestyle things, um, healthy eating, um, staying active, physically active, um, mentally engaged, involved with community, so it's really the same set of things that you would be doing in order to try to avoid heart attack or in order to avoid coronary disease or cancer or any of those things. Right. Because research shows actually that there's a high correlation between things like high blood pressure, vascular disease, mm -hmm. type 2 diabetes, and, all, and the risk of Alzheimer's. So if you can reduce your, your risk of all those other illnesses, you can also hopefully do more to prevent Alzheimer's. So that's an amazing thing to know. It's an amazing thing to know that that kind of what we'll traditionally, we've talked about as a healthy lifestyle thing can really have an effect. Now, are there any particular things in terms of diet or in terms of drugs? In terms, of, are, there, are there any other aspects to this that po folks can focus on? And how would they learn about it? And, what, and how, how could BayPath be involved in helping them learn about it or other resources that you know of? Oh, there are a lot of resources. Um, you know, as far as diet goes, there's um, oh, really the studies show that those kinds of healthy diets that we, you know, rich in vegetables and, and um, whole grains, yeah. low in saturated fat, sodium, those kinds of, that kind of a diet is really optimum. Um, so it sounds like a heart, like a, a, a heart attack fat. avoidance diet. Exactly. It's no saturated fat. Right. right. One of my favorite things. Yeah. It's just, it's, yeah. It was such a great thing growing up with them, but now you kind of have to leave them alone. Right? Yeah. Uh, that and, and salt. Um, so, so, so that's one thing that you can do, and. Um, Actually, there, there are some resources that can tell you, give you more information. One yeah. is the National Institute on Aging has a booklet on preventing Alzheimer's disease. Oh. There's information through the Alzheimer's Association, mm -hmm. and the local chapter here is the Alzheimer's Association of Massachusetts and New Hampshire, and they have information on preventing Alzheimer's disease as well. I see, and I know that we'll be, we'll be uh, inviting a guest from the Alzheimer's Association to one of the later shows, one of the folks, because I know the closest office to here is really in, well, there are two ones in Watertown and one's in Worcester. Right. So we're going to have somebody just talk about some of those issues, right? Okay. So, you know, we're hoping that that will really kind of help people focus. How, in terms of, do, from the things that you follow, the things that you've read, are there any particular drugs? Is there a magic way to be dealing with this? You know, is um, there something you can be taking that reduces your likelihood of getting Alzheimer's? I, well, I guess, you know, that's something that I'd probably be a little reluctant to, to give advice about. We're going to bring a doctor there, on Yeah, there are, you yeah. know, some recommendations from some sources that say certain vitamins can help. Um, but I probably, and I've heard people say that, you know, Reservatrol, and, and, which is in red wine, is... Um, is beneficial. Reserve it. We'll remember that one. Maybe right. we can bring in a specialist on that. <laughs> on red wine, right. <laughs> we'll um, just be talking about it. Yeah. Now, you talked about the healthy aging programs that, you, that you're that you actually involved in. Can you kind of just go elaborate a little bit more on kind of what you do? What What th is the service that you provide? Right. Um, we actually just had a training. Um, we're in the middle of a training to train leaders um, to provide those, those groups. The chronic disease self-management is a uh, six-week program, mm -hmm. and it's for people, a lot of times people think, well, I don't have disease, or chronic disease, but if you're taking blood pressure medication, you have a chronic illness. If you have arthritis, um, any kind of chronic illness that can um, 
that affect your can affect your functioning, your level of I see. independence. And this teaches you a lot of strategies: healthy eating, exercise, um, and also ways to um, change your thinking and reframe your thinking so you don't get um, depressed and discouraged. I see. And and can you just talk about depression a little bit and about socialization as some as this may relate to some of these things? I know that we you know we often talk about exercise and we all often talk about diet. Um, but seldom is socialization discussed. And I guess, I, this, let's talk about something a little bit different. What is, can you distinct, because I think it's going to lead to this, can you distinguish between the two terms that constantly get thrown around interchangeably are Alzheimer's disease and dementia? Right. So what is, is that the same thing? Is one you know, a manifestation of the, what, what is that? What, what is yeah. the difference? That's a question that always comes up. 